Welcome back, crafted entrepreneurs. So I am excited because today's episode is going to be focused a little bit on investing. And I know I've introduced you guys to some of these concepts. Some of you already invest in alternative assets. But today I'm going to share with you my personal advice. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. So everything I'm sharing with you is just my opinion. Don't go take it as Bible and run with it. Always do your own do diligence. Talk to your lawyer, talk to your tax person, talk to your accountant, and get wise advice for what is the best thing for you. So I'm just going to share my opinion (laughs) because these are coming from questions from a speech I did recently in Florida. And if you've been following this series, you already know the story. Okay, so these two questions, they're written by two different people because I see the handwriting, but I thought they're so similar. We got to talk about them together. The first one I'm gonna answer is so interesting. How would you make $100,000 if you had nothing to invest? So she's asking basically, I wanna invest in something. And I had mentioned at this talk that, you know, you you really need to have about $100,000 saved up to go in on certain deals. That's a good little cushion, okay? It's not always that, sometimes, you need like 25,000 to go in on deals. I just got a pitch deck two days ago for a restaurant here in town and they were looking for investors to come in at $50,000, okay? So it's really all over the place. I think $100,000 is a really great goal because maybe you go in to two different deals, okay? So what would I do if I didn't, if I had zero dollars right now and I wanted to come up with $100,000 stat? So. My mind gets like excited about this and this is the energy I want you guys to be in. Excitement, excitement. If you look at making money as a dreadful thing, as a scary thing, as, oh, it's it's not possible for me, well, then it's not gonna be possible for you. I teach my kids this all the time. I've been telling them this since they were young. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. It's very simple. It is cliche. You've heard this over and over again. But your mindset is absolutely everything when it comes to making money. And do you have to feel like this 100% of the time? No. But you need to have the tools to get yourself into a good energy. So I don't always wake up in the morning and go like, today is a good day to make money. I got to like talk myself into the fact that today is a good day to make money. If you know you want to create some extra cash, you got to be in the essence of everything I do today, every interaction I have today is going to make me money in some way, shape, or form. If you have that belief, you just have the lens of looking for opportunity. Looking for opportunity is really smart, but also let's be in the lens of receiving opportunity. So you don't always have to go out there and be the person (laughs) like I used to be, what, 12 years ago. I would go to the mall, okay, and I would look, this is in my network marketing days, I would look for people who were filling out applications to get jobs at retail stores. And I would go up to them and say, hey, I'm hiring. Do you wanna join my team? (laughs) I had the lens of opportunity, but I was a little weird. And nobody ended up joining my team that way. (laughs) But I was so hungry, okay? But it gets to be easier than that because now we have social media and people are coming to you all the time. People want to pay you money for things that you know, for your experience. People will pay you money to learn about your experience. That is the day and age we are in right now. And so that gets me so excited for you because if you can learn how to package that up in a pretty little bow, you can make $100,000 today. That's mind blowing, but it's so true. In one year, you guys, in one year time span, and this was like six years ago now, But I went from having home parties, you know, three to four times a week at my house, traveling all over the world to make money, to make a million dollars a year. 12 months after the fact, I had built a seven-figure brand called Mommy Millionaire doing coaching packages and working way less, not traveling all over the world and spending way more time with my family. It, It saved my marriage doing this. Okay, so what can happen for you? Listening to this podcast will condense time for you. Knowing what I knew now, it wouldn't have taken me 12 months. It might have taken me 30 days, honestly. 
So I'm proud of you for listening into this because knowledge is power. Now you got to act on the knowledge. So what do you do to get excited about making money? You, you got to talk yourself into it. So I want to teach you this technique and I actually teach it inside of one of my courses. It's called the Game Changers Coaching Academy. And if you're not inside of this program, you want to get inside of this program, okay? It could change your life. You learn how to make bank as a coach. So you can DM me right now, Game Changers on Instagram to learn more about it. But this is called the emotional freedom technique. And I'm going to walk you through it right now. Uh, There's a lot of books on it. Um, I think the person who invented it, I think his name is Nick Ortner. I know for sure Nick has a book on it, but I don't know if he's the guy that invented it. You guys can Google it, look it up, all the things. I did not invent this. But it's something that I do for myself. I've taught my clients. If you feel like you're in that energy of fear around money, fear around receiving money, you can tap through it. Okay, so this is my first time I'm gonna teach it like for free. So you guys are in for a treat here. If you're watching this or you're listening to it on the podcast, make sure to go over to YouTube and watch this because I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps on how to tap for success. So basically what this does, so you can understand the science behind it, is it calms down your nervous system and it helps your body feel safe with creating a new belief. So years ago, I used to really practice hard affirmations. I'd look in the mirror and I'd convince myself all of these things. But your body knows when it's lying, (laughs) right? So it's like really hard to believe you're a millionaire by just staring at yourself and saying, I'm a millionaire. Like that's not gonna change your circumstances. You're not gonna feel safer to receive money. You need to convince yourself by showing your mind proof that it is possible for you to be a millionaire. Just like right now, we're gonna tap through the reasons why it's possible for you to make $100,000 so you could have it and invest. So then you can make your money work hard for you. I get so excited about this. Okay. EFT. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to karate chop. Sounds so funny. But you're just going to take like this part of your hand and you can karate chop it. Like if you don't have another hand, you could karate chop it on a chair. I always do it with my other hand. But sometimes like if I'm in a public setting and I don't want to like karate chop like crazy, I'll just go like this on a table. Okay. So karate chop, and you're going to say this freedom statement. So whatever it is that you're struggling with, whatever limiting belief that you currently have right now around receiving $100,000, this is what you're going to start off by saying. Even though I don't believe that I'm capable of making $100,000 in one day, I deeply love and accept myself, okay? So the limiting belief, and then I deeply love and accept myself. And this is the most important part. It's I deeply love and accept myself. So even though I don't believe I can make $100,000 in a day, today, I deeply love and accept myself. Now, all sorts of thoughts are gonna start coming up in your mind right now of this is crazy. And this is actually what we're gonna speak out loud and tap through until we eventually get to the spot where we believe ourselves, okay? So I'm making this up on the fly right here, so just bear with me. So even though I don't believe that I can make $100,000 in one day, two day, I deeply love and accept myself. It's too hard to make $100,000 in a day. So we're going top of the eyebrow. It's gonna take too much work to make $100,000 today. I don't know if I have the network to make $100,000 that quickly. What could I offer people for $100,000? Would people actually be willing to invest money in me for things I know? I don't know if it's possible. I do know that I see people on social media getting paid that much. I mean, maybe it's possible for me. Maybe people would pay me that. I know my experience is valuable. I know I can comfortably receive $100,000. I know exactly where I want to invest the $100,000. I believe I'm worthy of millions. I could potentially make a post on social media and find out what people want to learn from me. I feel safe doing that. I feel safe putting myself out there. I feel safe to create an offer. I feel excited about the possibility of receiving $100,000 today. I wanna receive $100,000 today. I'm worthy of receiving $100,000 today. 
I know that money loves me. I love money. I will do good things with money. I'm ready to receive $100,000 today. You say, all is well, all is well, all is well. Okay, so that is the emotional freedom technique. (laughs) And basically, hopefully you kind of caught on what I was doing there. So at first, you're kind of just sharing like all the thoughts, your mind chatter, or what my first coach used to call it, the drunk monkey comes up, like all the reasons why it's not gonna work out for me. And you're kind of just saying it out loud. So a lot of gurus say, don't say anything negative. Don't give energy to it. But it's actually good to get it out there because you realize how dumb it sounds. When you actually voice the fear, you voice the doubt, you go, you know what? That's bull crap. I am valuable. People will pay me $100,000. And then you like get into it. So you go from doubt, unbelief, to convincing yourself actually with truth and starting to feel safe in your body to receive that money. So... Remember, the most important part is that you start off with the limiting belief and you just say, hey, I deeply love and accept myself no matter what. And then you tap through these meridian spots, okay? And you end with all is well, all is well. You know, I I don't think you can mess it up, but I'm not the EFT expert. It's just something I've done to help myself out. So this is what I want you to do right now if you are wanting to up level, make more money than you've ever made, you know, you gotta start like feeling safe to receive new amounts of money. Your body has to believe that all is going to be well when you receive a $100,000 check today. All will be well. So the other side of that question is, if you had $100,000 to invest, what would you invest in? And You know, most billionaires will actually tell you to focus on the one thing. And for years, I've always been about diversify, diversify, diversify. And the reason I was so focused on diversification was because of my network marketing days, I had all of my eggs in one basket around how I was making money. And I got to a point where I knew I was gonna leave network marketing and I hated the fact that I was so reliant on that income to you know, pay for my lifestyle, to give my kids everything they wanted. I kind of vowed to myself in that moment, this was like eight or nine years ago, that I was never gonna be stuck with just one income again. I didn't want all my eggs in one basket again. And over time, especially this last year, I've realized that if I really believe in something and I know that this is the best way for me to cash flow, create assets, and really create true wealth for my family, that I kind of need to go like all in on that one thing right now and not be married to, you know, having the money absolutely everywhere. So I think that if I were to have an extra $100,000 today, I know exactly where I'd put it. I put it into our syndication fund where we loan out money to small businesses. That's right. If you need a small business loan, we can loan you money. And you just reach out to me and just say loan. And I would do that because the money is getting repaid back to us within three months. And I'm able to deploy my capital very quickly. I get paid back. Most of these people who are paying us back on the loans are paying us back daily. And so we're able to get that money back quickly. And as soon as it comes into my account, every Monday, I'm putting out new loans, sometimes even throughout the week as well. So I'm putting that money back into <laughs> back into position <laughs> to make more money for me quickly. And so even though maybe a loan is, you know, it's 12% interest, let's just say making up numbers, 12% interest. Well, because I'm able to get that money back within 90 days, I'm able to redeploy. And the compound effect happens on that money. So instead of it making me 12% over the course of a year, it ends up making me 40% over the course of a year. And if I were to put a million dollars right now into this syndication, if I were to put a million dollars into it, in two and a half years, it doubles. That's really how the math works out for me. And I can't do that in real estate (laughs) because of where the market is right now and of how much work it takes me, okay? So that, if I wanted to do that in real estate, I would have to make that my full-time job. This is a really completely passive investment where the money just works really hard for me. And this opportunity isn't available to everybody, but I'm just saying this is what I would do, okay? First place I would do it. Second place I would do it is if I needed to know something, okay? Or if I needed to meet somebody, I would invest $100,000 to get a mentor that knew something that I didn't know. 
So let's say I wanted to get into multifamily real estate. I'm already in multifamily real estate, but I invested to get into the right rooms and have the right mentors years ago to learn what I didn't know about it. And I spent, I think that year, I spent like 85 grand on getting in the room and meeting the right people and shortcutting the process of multifamily real estate and preventing me from making a whole lot of mistakes, okay? So that's what I would do if maybe you don't have access to the syndication, but you have access to going, hey, I need to know more. I need to meet the right people. Invest in your network. And don't go for the cheapy programs. Go for the big programs. Go for the big kahuna if you have $100,000. Because once you're on somebody's radar and you know that this is the person that is the real deal, they could teach you everything that you know they know, you're now a part of their Rolodex. So when they have more opportunities, you're gonna be you know, told about the opportunities. And that's what is so exciting is when you start to invest in yourself, you're, you're playing at um, you know, kind of like that upper echelon. You're gonna find out about deals, about startups, about money making opportunities before it gets out. <laughs> to like the rest of the social media crew. By the time it's trending on social media, usually the opportunity is kind of watered down. So you wanna find out about it in the beginning where really most of the money is made. So invest in yourself, find the right people, study people, ask them the questions, ask them the hard questions to see if they are the right mentor for you. So I hope you loved today's episode. If you do the emotional freedom technique, one thing I wanted to add in is always rate yourself beforehand. Okay, and what I mean by that is before you tap on a scale of one to 10, you would rate your limiting belief. So remember the limiting belief was I can't make $100,000 in a day. Well, on a scale of one to 10, how true does that feel for you? So 10 would be like, absolutely, that feels very true. Like (laughs) it feels scary, hard, Ugh, I don't wanna do it. A one would be like, I'm kind of like, I don't feel that at all, okay? So rate yourself at the beginning and then always rate yourself at the end of tapping because when your mind sees the proof that it works, it'll continue to do it and you can create the habit of tapping and getting your nervous system in a really neutral, safe place to start receiving everything that you truly want. So make sure to check it out. DM me if you have any questions. 